So what have we been up to this summer? We went back to Atlanta to see family and friends. We started an Airbnb, I locked my hair. We celebrated Amari's birthday, ate cupcakes. And now we are moving into our new home in Cabrera, La República Dominicana. Yes, it is. 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 Good morning! If you're new to our channel, my name is Jocelyn Minerve. I'm one of five. My family and I, we just switched from living in San Pedro Sula, Honduras to Cabrera, La República Dominicana. You speak English? Cabrera, Dominican Republic. And today is technically day two. It's all blurred, y'all, because it was a like we were up all the entire night before on a Thursday packing everything. Woke up Friday morning at 5, got to the airport, had to go through customs, and then it was a like three hour drive here. It's usually two and a half hours from the airport, but three hours from Santo Domingo because it was raining. And so finally today's the day that I was like, let's take you on a tour of what we know so far. Also be ashamed not to show off this new dress that I got because it has pockets. No, I really, I really love this dress. In typical fashion, our entire room is a mess and we've lived here for exactly two days. Good morning! Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Buenos dias! What's for breakfast? Oatmeal! Oatmeal, is it yummy? Yep. Yeah. Especially with the sugar. Just a real quick view of our living room. Hi. Begin. Two days in this house and I destroyed it. But no, really what I love the most about it is look how high these things are. They're way higher than... I finally can't touch it. Right? I can touch every other ceiling easily. That's why my daddy, I can reach the sky. No, actually I could reach. No, mommy could reach it. No, me! Okay. No, Only mommy. for our daddy. Oh, me! Oh, just look that bad, baby. I, I would say I spent like half of the morning telling Ian that the almost looks like mashed potatoes. What are you showing? And now that it's settled, it actually looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and eat these, not mashed potatoes, open. Our first day going to check out the school. Y'all ready? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Now I'm sure you can tell just by looking at this footage of the walk that Cabrera is completely different from San Pedro Sula. We are leaving a modern city to going to something what I've compared to a small town. It's definitely in the combos, like in the countryside to me, lots of nature. We haven't even really walked by any cars or any people. The walk to school is about a little less than half a mile, so the same walk as when we're in Honduras. Hello, nice to meet you. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Monty. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Monty. Yep, no, I get it. So after 10 minutes of my kids pretending to be shy, Shannon gave us a tour of the camp and the school because we would be working as camp counselors for the next session coming up. We're here, day one for us at camp. These kids here just having a good time, having fun at camp. And I'm loving the vibe, it's beautiful. Can't wait to get acclimated and be a part of this community. So we're going to the Malecon, which is where we were yesterday. You guys remember what the Malecon was? Yeah. What's there? Exercising. And exercising? Yeah. Okay, so it's our second time there. Daddy decided to stay home because he was like, I really want to work on these dishes because the house is completely unorganized. And Monty said he was going to finish playing his Nintendo Switch, even though he only had 10 more minutes left for electronic time. So 
feel like I'm really hot, but the kids are saying it's not hot. They didn't want to wait. You not hot, Nelly? No, because the weather is making me cool. They wanted to come here in the middle of the day. I feel like we should wait till like five when the sun was setting, but here we are. Got up. We've been going to camp every week. Ian and I are camp counselors. Kids are campers. And Monty's doing his favorite thing that he does in the morning. His homework. I hate this. When your parents are teachers, you still get homework and schoolwork during the summertime. Cause that's what kids, they have that gap where they forget everything and regress. But Monty won't regress and he loves us for it. No, I don't. <laughs> Where's Batman? Come back here. Nelly, you want to show everybody our new? Our new family, but now we're a dog. What's his name? A chip. It's 25. I got five minutes before camp circle, so I'm heading there now. And chips here. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We're talking about what song to dance to today. So, so Ian is teaching a dance class now. A few weeks ago, there was a talent show that Ian performed on, and like all the kids were like, "Wow, we want to learn how to dance!" And the parents were really excited. So now he teaches dance classes. I told him to to sing to do a song that the kids know. And he loves that song by Daddy Yankee, Con Calma. Da -di -yang -ga. Con Calma. What's, yeah, you, what song are you thinking of doing? Oh, spoilers. Uh, it's either going to be You're a Jerk or I know. <laughs> yeah. So chances are if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering why we moved. We are not going to be able to record anything. We're surrounded by children. children. We have given up our spot in the shade to the kids. Okay, take two. Obviously, literally speaking, we left Honduras. Yep. But it wasn't us leaving Honduras, but more of going somewhere else. Why did we go somewhere else? Was it Honduras? No, it was not Honduras. Honduras is wonderful. I miss it. I'm still a little sad about it, to be I honest. I miss it more than him. I really, really miss it. <laughs> Honduras was beautiful yeah. towards us and as it is. When I, uh, story time, quick story time. So the other day, I think we had been here like for four days, yeah. and our youngest, Hamadi, that's why I say with name with Spanish accent, our youngest, Hamadi, <laughs> was playing, and he looks up at me and says, Mommy, when are we going home? And I'm like, we are home. Yeah. And he's like, no, our house in San Pedro Sula. And I was like, we don't live there anymore. Yeah. And he was like so sad. Like we had talked to him already that we're moving. But still, like he's three, just turned four, but at the time when we first moved here, he was only three. Right. It's not he's not registering to him. He thinks we're on vacation. I'm like, no, yeah. we live here now. And like I I feel that. Yeah. I, I, I think I miss Honduras more. Cause Ian's trying to stunt for the camera right now. We had a whole conversation and he was like, he likes it better here. I'm definitely or how much that he loves it here. But I'm still like, I'm still in Honduras. My heart is still there. He says, so why are we here? Yeah, why are we here though? So if my heart's still there, we love Honduras, why are we here? So it wasn't the country. And like, I'm about to get real and I was, wasn't was sure like how real I wanted to get, but it was never the country. Well, first there was an issue with our residency cards that was happening. So just like in the States for you to come to another country to live there, to work there and get paid legally and to, just, you know. Function. Yeah, function <laughs> as a member of society. Like, you have to have some type of paperwork, whether it's a visa, a green card, right. something. So, there kept being setback after setback with that, which wasn't like, it's not like a big deal, 
but for us wanting to be set up somewhere long term, we needed more reliability. And our school was helping us, so that was one thing I will give the school the credit for is we signed a power of attorney so they could help us on our behalf, but it's just with the new government, at least what was communicated to us, because, you know, we are foreigners. Yeah. The new government has made it a lot harder to be able to get your residency card. And so we honestly never got it the whole time we were there, which was one of the, that was like the finally the feather, like the feather yeah. that fell. Now, will that happen to you guys? Maybe it won't. I think it was more concerning for us because we have three kids. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you got Yeah, you can go ahead, Monty. Yeah, go, Monty. Monty and me. Love you. Bye, Millie. Bye. Bye. And you cool, tatted it up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know, and pro. But you ain't even flexing. Let me think about inside the most. Words go deep, it's like a swallow. Who's the green screw and all the manacles? Me! What's that? 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 No, I'm just kidding. It's just like, it's so pretty here. Like, you cannot deny that this is not beautiful. And we are literally like a six minute, max 10 minute walking distance. We're walking with Amari to take us 10 minutes. If it's just me and Ian, a few minutes. How real am I gonna get on this vlog while also showing you our new home? We left off with a residency card issue. It was an issue and if I'm being honest, we could have made it work. We could have went another year going back and forth with the government and you know, lawyers helping us navigate that. However, it kind of just fell in, a, uh, fell in the line with some of the things that were happening for me. Now, am I gonna get in here and talk bad about schools in Honduras or even the school, the International School Network? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just, that's not the type of person I am. But what I will say is I was starting to realize that my place of work wasn't for me right now. And it's not to say that it's not for someone else, it just wasn't for me. Now, why wasn't it for me? Like, or why wasn't it for us really? So Ian and myself, we were realizing after leaving a super big top tier international school in Atlanta, you know, had so many resources, lots of money coming in, lots of support, that that just wasn't our people. Not that it was, a, not that the international school in Atlanta was a bad school, it wasn't. It, wasn't, it was a good school. It was a lot better than some of the other options that we had in Atlanta. But it's still, there was more that we wanted. And then even coming to Honduras, I'm realizing that the International School Network might not be for me. Um, I want to make an impact where I think I'm most needed. I want to work with kids of all socioeconomic levels. I want to work with kids of all backgrounds and ethnicities. Um, and I'm just not getting that. And truth be told, that's anywhere. If you were to work in any continent, Australia, Africa, Europe right now, and you're working at these high resource international schools, it's probably going to be, you know, one one culture, meaning like they're all from Honduras, or they're all from England, they're all from Ireland. Um, it's probably going to be very wealthy families. Um, it's going to be schools with tons of resources, and those things are great, especially if that's what you're looking for. However, we, Ian and I and the kids, you know, we were ready to serve a different type of community. And it was so hard to say goodbye to that. Um, I love my students at EIS. I miss them so much. I, I miss my students so much in Honduras, Ivan, Roberto, his sister, the, the families there, the, the Miss Fiallos, the librarian, my co workers, um, Miss Nanoska, amazing educator. Um, are there perfect schools? No. You'll never find the perfect school. And if you're looking for the perfect school, truth be told, once you arrive, it will not be perfect because you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, so it's just really hard to say no. And I, what we were looking for, we just couldn't find at the time in Honduras. Now, when I say at the time in Honduras, we were looking, but we had waited so long, mainly because we we're going to make it work. But when the residency issue pop popped up, it was kind of like, well, it's, it's time to go now. It's time to go like, at this point, it's hard for us to stay. We were looking for schools in Honduras that fit exactly what we wanted. Like we, I didn't want to, we didn't want to compromise anymore for our family. I can do a lot of compromising, but for my own 
children is like I want them to be around diversity and diversity isn't just about race I know my channel is all about black Americans abroad and I, I speak a lot to that specific group because that's what I am a black American woman period but diversity doesn't just, it's not just skin color it's not just race so Natalie go Being here in Cabrera, um, I think it really meshed well with what something me and my wife wanted to explore. Small town on a beautiful island and with a diverse socioeconomic group of people. It's not your typical international school. Who remembers what we're doing tomorrow? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 